Okay, and we're back, and we've currently got your Facebook all set up, but the trouble is your page is probably looking a little bit blank at the moment. We need to get you some friends. Now, the important thing about friends, particularly on Facebook, is that they're people you know and that you've met personally. I don't put in, and please don't take offence at this, but particularly with my Facebook, my private profile like you're looking at here, I don't... um, accept any friend invitations unless I really, really know the person personally, like in in real life. Um, I just wouldn't do that. And I really heartily recommend that you don't either because it really does ruin the Facebook experience. There is another way if you're interested in um, following me and what I'm up to, and I'd love to see you there. And it's specifically designed by Facebook for that purpose, and that's a fan page. But I'll show you that a bit later on. Right at this stage, I want to focus on you and find you some friends. So if we're going to click on the Friends tab here, and funnily enough, we go to Invite Friends. Now, you can see here, you've got the ability to for um, Facebook to go and check out your mail and see if that matches up with anybody who is in your mail in Facebook. I personally wouldn't do that. I don't like the idea of it at all. I really don't. Um, So what I would do as a different way, instead of doing invite friends, I would find friends. Because at the moment... We're just testing the waters. We don't. I really don't want you to stress about Facebook at all. We're going to show you some amazing things to do, but I really, really want you to to just take it very, very slowly. So, the best uh, thing, and we don't want to use this find people by email. Okay, we don't want to use that. There are sometimes some suggestions, but they're not going to be that particularly useful for you. I don't think uh, if you're just starting out. And I wouldn't use your I am list at this point. We just don't want to do that. Now, you can see here, and this is cool, because I filled out my profile, it asks to see if there are any classmates from the University of Melbourne from 1998, uh, which is not when I was. I was in there in 88. I must have typed that in wrong. Oops. Uh, or I could find former high school classmates. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to go and find... Now, unfortunately, because I went to the tiniest school in human history, I don't think it comes up. But I bet you your school does. Yeah, see, unfortunately, my school doesn't. Um, But if you, like, if we went to Beach High School here in Tennessee and we were there in the class of 87 and we searched for classmates... we'd see if there was anybody there who was on Facebook. And I think you'll be pretty amazed. You can search by name. You can do all these different things. But I reckon the coolest way to see how Facebook really works is to find an old friend that you haven't kept in touch with for a long time. And look at all these people who are um, Beach High 1987 graduates, which is very, very cool. So... I would really recommend you do that because I think it's a really, really cool way to get introduced into Facebook because the core thing that Facebook does, I think, and let's go back to my homepage to see it, all of my friends, all these people that I'd like to keep track of because I know them personally, like Eugene there, Eugene and I went buying iPhone 3GSs this morning, Um, Facebook keeps you in touch with people who you may not have seen for months or years or not in regular phone contact, but you keep in touch, which is really, really fascinating. And it really works. And that's why, particularly at the moment, I want to encourage you guys to really use Facebook for friends' purposes. Experience Facebook like a real person, not like an internet marketer. Um, And you'll really start to get the flavor of, of why Facebook is so cool. Because imagine if you're keeping track of all your high school buddies and it's fantastic. Any time that they do an update, bang, it's popped up here. On Look, somebody's just updated there and it's Michelle Trent. So there you have it. Um, that, I think, is a great feature. Now, if you want to see what I'm up to, 
basically what we need to do is, and I'll just type in this the easiest way, if you type in www.tubbynerd.facebook, this is my fan page. Now, this is fantastic. If you come to this fan page, click on become a fan, and you can see, particularly if you're a much more a Facebook person and you tend to stick a lot of time in Facebook, then this is a great way to follow along. Remember, this year in the 30-day challenge, it's not released yet, but it will be soon. We have the 30-day challenge will be completely run in Facebook with a special new Facebook application. Very exciting. It's a first for internet marketing. And we're really, really, really excited about it. So here, if you come to this page, you can literally click become a fan. Now, fan pages are a fantastic way to keep track of people that you're interested in as a fan or somebody. Sometimes people find the word fan a bit funny because they're not necessarily fan, they're interested or whatever. But anyway, that's the term Facebook uses. And for example, I am a fan of uh, John Mayer and I'm a fan of MasterChef and a couple of other bits and pieces as well. Signet May, for example, the band. Um, fans of them as well. And what's cool about fan pages, you can send an update to your fans and we'll be talking about fan pages when we start talking about marketing your online business. But for now, you might want to check out a couple of fans, uh, fan pages to follow, um, which is the perfect thing for this sort of stuff. So check that out as well. Okay, so we've got friends and we've got some fan pages, which is fantastic. Next, I'm going to show you how to put all this into Seismic so that we can track everything from one spot which is super duper cool makes things so much better and easier all right folks speak to you soon